Another very solid day out there. Um, you looked like you were hitting your drives beautifully. What else did you admire about your own game? Um, just overall the like mentality out there. I feel like I had a really good mindset with um, how the round started. It was just kind of slow. I feel like I didn't miss hit a shot today, um, but on one hole I went over the green and I think like I just hit it too good. So that's a nice problem to have, isn't it? <laughs> When you won the ANA, you, know, you nearly moved up into the top 10 in the world. In the last couple of years, it's been a challenge. So is there anything you can pinpoint it down to? Is it experience that has taught you so much? What do you think? Um, looking back, I mean, now still, like I feel like I'm still trying to get over that. But looking back, I wouldn't change a thing. If anything, like it, it just put me where I need to be right now at the present moment. And I'm really grateful for all the struggles because it taught me and I grow from it. So I, I learn a lot and um, I'm a better person and player for it. Yeah, p performance doesn't follow a straight line, does it? Yeah, no, it's just up and down. <laughs> Well, it's certainly been up these last couple of days. Um, you teed off late this morning. So how do you pass the time when you're thinking you're right in the hunt of a big tournament? What do you do to keep yourself occupied? Uh, to be honest, time flies for me. I feel like I just find things to do. Like I read in the morning, uh, read some novels, um, look at my whoop, um, like, okay. <laughs> like how my sleep was, walked around, lay in bed, just lay and just sit there with my thoughts, um, watch it come and go, um, and that's it, yeah, and then uh, it's time to leave, I'm like, okay, let's go. And clearly enjoying yourself on the golf course, I mean, why not? The music's now pumping, it's a bit of a disco out here, but um, it's your first trip to Saudi, and you're obviously enjoying the feel of this tournament. Yes, um, of course, like, Every Aramco event, I feel like it's so well run that I just, just want to be a part of it. Like food is always amazing, organization and everything. Like I just love being a part of, of Aramco events. Um, so it's just really nice to be here, hear the music. And I've been jamming to Luis Capaldi lately. So to hear that on the 10T was like, yeah, this is my jam right now. <laughs> That's your jam right now. OK, well, we've got 18 holes to go tomorrow. Um, what are your thoughts? Is it hard not to think about something that you want so badly? It is. Um, honestly, just you have to think about it, right? Like you think about it and like, what are you going to do about the thoughts? So I think tomorrow, all I want to do is make the right choices um, each and every shot and um, whatever it is that I'm going to face tomorrow, I'm up for it. I know it's not going to be easy. So um, just making the right choices and commit to my process is, uh, is something I'm going to do tomorrow. Okay, good. And then this evening, are you going to go and hit balls now or is your job done into your PJs and preparing? Yeah, PJs and probably my Kindle. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like a perfect combo. Well played today. Thank you. Thanks. Well, that's a really nice.